Here we have y equal 3 tangent of 2x minus 4 pi. And the first thing we want to do is find the period. The period for tangent, typically if it was tangent x was pi, but this has a 2 in front, so it's going to be pi over 2. Then the next thing it asks for are the asymptotes, and I just pasted an example here so you can see where the blanks were and how you fill it in. So we need to find the asymptotes. Now normally on tangent I put a regular tan, this is the graph of tangent of x here, and the asymptotes are uh, pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 for a basic tangent graph. The tangent has its intercept halfway between those asymptotes and if you look then the asymptotes are the period or pi apart from each other. There was an asymptote at pi over 2 to begin with. We need to figure out where that asymptote ends up when you change the period and then also when you phase shift it. So let's look at that and we'll put the graph below. So the first thing we're going to do is say if the period is pi over 2 2, we're not going to do the phase shift yet. If the period is pi over 2, then the because this would cross at 0, these asymptotes would be pi over 4 away. So they're half of a period on either side of 0, so that the complete distance here is pi over 2. And so that's what that part would look like except now we've got to shift everything. So let's figure out the shift. It's going to be 2x minus 4 pi equals 0. So 2x equals 4 pi which means x equals dividing that by 2, 2 pi. So I need to take this asymptote that was right here at pi over 4 and I need to add 2 pi to it and that would tell me where that asymptote would land. So if I made this into force that's 8 pi so at 9 pi force. So the asymptote is going to land at 9 pi force. So if I was answering this I would put 9 pi fourths right here and then there's an asymptote every period. We know that they would be pi over 2 apart from each other, so we could put the rest of the asymptotes in here and they would look like that, but basically what we need to do, this is just going to be the period here, which is pi over 2, then it's multiplied by k's, plus or minus k's, and each of those would make an asymptote then pi over 2 away from the others. If we were to put the rest of this graph on the picture, then it looks like they are going to cross in between the asymptotes. This 3 on the front, normally we would go up halfway to the asymptote and go up 1, but we would have to go up 3, which is kind of off my picture here. So it's just steeper, quicker, and over here and down 3, so it would look like that. And of course it would repeat that pattern between all of the asymptotes.